It's been named the third best city out of the world's top ten by travel guide Lonely Planet. And from the top of the Azrieli Observatory looking down across Tel Aviv, you can see why. A modern sin city by the sea is how Lonely Planet describes the coastal metropolis, praising its art and music scenes and relaxed liberal culture. The beach and nightlife are magnets for both tourists and locals who know how to enjoy their 300 days of sunshine a year in the city that never sleeps. I love the people. I think that um, Tel Avivis are the warmest, most honest, friendliest people that I've met in the world and, and I've been all over the world. I love that it's November and I'm still here at the beach swimming in the water. It's perfect. But, says Lonely Planet, which put New York in the number one spot, scratch underneath the surface and Tel Aviv reveals itself as a truly diverse 21st century Mediterranean hub. You have the nightlife, you have culture, you have concerts, you have opera, you have anything that you want. There's something for everyone whether it's bike riding or jogging through Tel Aviv port, a stroll through trendy neighborhoods like Nevet Sedek, or the meticulously restored Tachana railway station, innovative dance events and festivals at the Suzanne de Lal Center, or a tranquil inner courtyard if you're looking for some peace and quiet. I've been coming to Israel since 1967, and I've been coming back regularly ever since, and there are always changes and it's always changes for the better. Tel Aviv is a city that's completely comfortable with its own contradictions. And nothing tells a story better than its eclectic mix of architecture. From the ancient stones of Jaffa, to beautiful old houses, to stylish modern towers, and more than 5,000 Bauhaus-style buildings that earned the city a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site designation in 2003. You walk around the city and it's fun, it's, you feel good, people are friendly, people are nice. You're spot for choice when it comes to eating out in Tel Aviv. And wherever you've been in Tel Aviv, you can always end up at the beach. It's a great place to be and I try to come like three, four times a year. If I feel like I do something, otherwise I just lay on the beach like this time. We are planning for the next year. Uh, the marathon will be in Tel Aviv. We'll have the White Night in Tel Aviv. We'll do a big festival in the old city of Jaffa. In June we'll have the Gay Parade, like every year. It's a city that you can find whatever you want for a great vacation. If you like to go to the Philharmonic, if you want to go to visit the opera, if you want to go to the museum, everything is in Tel Aviv. It's a beautiful city and the people are lovely and I just like coming here all the time. The city really does have something for everyone. But as Lonely Planet suggests, perhaps the most appealing and unique thing about Tel Aviv is its easygoing, fun-loving and welcoming spirit.